And these cuts here, you can actually, we can do some rolls with, right? Real simple here, we can just take it just straight down like sashimi, right? If it's gonna go inside the roll, that'll be a little bit big, so we'll cut this in half, right? Just have fun with it. You know, if you're gonna make spicy tuna, everyone's favorite hot sauce, the sriracha, right? Put jalapenos inside. Just have some fun with it. But keep your fish cold. Your fish has gotta be cold, below 40 degrees. Because if it starts to get warm, then obviously it starts to build bacteria. So keep it nice and cool. Keep it in your fridge until you're ready to use it, right? So these are real nice cuts for spicy tuna, but we'll just do tekamaki, right? Everyone know what tekamaki? Which is a smaller one, the hosomaki size. The seaweed on the outside is a traditional roll. Tekamaki, kapamaki. So this is just uh, the tuna we're gonna use inside that. Keep these here. We're gonna get our bamboo mat. Just something real quick here. We're gonna take the rice, piece of seaweed, right? Nori. You're gonna wet your hands with the rice. Not too much water. And we're gonna take just a little bit of rice, about two golf ball sizes, right? We're gonna go right down the center. And we're gonna go right between the, the two lines in the middle, two thirds of the seaweed here, right? And you're spreading the rice, you're not smashing it. The whole key here is to see each individual grain whole still, right? It's the whole key making sushi, right? The whole art of making sushi. The definition of sushi is rice. So your rice is even more important than your seafood. You can buy the fresh product here that we have here today, but if your rice is too wet, too dry, or too much vinegar in it, then you've already lost, right? So if this is spicy tuna, I can add cucumbers, I can add avocado, you can put some crab, you can do a lot of different things here. We just go all the way from end to end here, right? Right down the center, right to the back end of the mat. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna hold my product in the middle here, go over the top, right? And we stop right here. Make a nice square, right? Don't squeeze it, because the tuna may come out. Then we're gonna lift it up, we're gonna go forward once, make a square, right, so you can follow its sides. Go forward a second time, make a square. And the seam is back here with me, so I gotta go back one, right? This is your tekamaki, like something just like that, right? It's cut in six pieces versus your, your non-traditional roll. The reverse, which is eight, so we cut it right in half, right? Put them together, and then we cut them in thirds, right? Third there, and a third there, right? We put them up like that. Tuna's right in the center. Put it in right there with all your rolls, right? So you got a lot more spicy tuna here that you can use. You can chop these up too, right? You can dice them up even further if you like, right? Use your deba instead of your sushi knife here. Kind of just break through down everything. So you can do spicy yellowtail, you can do spicy salmon, spicy scallops, a lot of different ways. Kind of like real nice bite size, right? And if there's any tendons in there, you'll break right through them. We'll mix up with here. Add a little sriracha in that and make the same roll and you're good to go.